Saudi Arabia has lifted a ban allowing women now to enter football stadiums and watch the games. The move comes three months after a law banning women from driving was relaxed. Last year, Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman promised to give women more freedom in an attempt to change the kingdom's image. Well, let's get more on this story now. To do that, I'm joined by Dr. Salwa Nugali, who's an associate professor of American literature and criticism at King Saud University in Riyadh. Thanks ever so much for, for joining us. Now, this isn't really about the beautiful game, is it? It's about women's hard-fought for rights in the kingdom. What else has been happening? Um, I think um, uh, for women now, it's um, I would call it uh, they are giving the, the chance to exercise their humanity. Uh, women in Saudi Arabia are like women everywhere in the world. Uh, some of them like sports, some of them don't like sports. Some of them uh, li like to go to the movies, some of them don't like to go to the movies. It, they are just like every other woman in the, this whole world. They're not any different. And I think this is really long overdue. My generation were asking for this. And we, you know, I feel like this is a bonus for my generation, that finally someone has come to, 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 to let women exercise their humanity. Let them live like everybody else in this world. Why should I go to another country to watch a movie or to watch a game? It's just not logical. Uh, uh, how ready do how ready do you think that Saudi Arabia is for, for this shift that's going to be giving Saudi women the, the sort of democratic freedoms that, that we take for granted in Western society? Theory, they already have it. If they don't have it in Saudi Arabia, they go anywhere in the world to have it. It's not new. The only difference is that they have it at home. That's the only difference. But they already have it. They already go abroad to watch movies, to go to the theater to go to do sports. They already have it. The difference is that it's at home now. What's the, what's the problem? I think this is a big accomplishment. It really took a, a very way this young man to decide this, because it's long overdue, long overdue, 35 years overdue. And we're looking up for more. OK, well, thank you very much there for, for your insight. And a very exciting time for, for women in Saudi Arabia, and as you say, to have freedoms that are already taken for granted in many other parts of the world. Thank you.